Hello, I'm Lou Westray for CNET here at Mobile World Congress 2013. We're taking a look at two new 7-inch Lenovo tablets. So, first up is this chap. This is the Lenovo A1000. It is a very basic tablet. It's got this 7-inch screen. The resolution is 600 by 102 for pixels, so it's not looking particularly sharp, to be honest. It does have a micro SD card slot, though, so you can bump up the storage, which is a nice touch. It's got no camera on the back, but there is one on the front, so you should be able to make video calls. Uh, something that Lenovo thinks is quite cool about this tablet are these twin speakers on the front and these are Dolby branded. The idea is that when you're listening to music you'll get it from two sources so it should sound a little bit better than the usual tinny speakers that you get on tablets or smartphones. It's running Android version 4.1 which isn't the latest version but it's quite, it's quite recent. It's got a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor and Lenovo reckons that it's going to be cheaper than the Nexus 7. First impressions are that this really is quite a simplistic tablet. Build quality doesn't seem to be too high. You see if I apply a little bit of pressure to the back of the tablet, you get this screen distortion there, which isn't great. But if it's cheap enough, then you never know. It might be a good one for a, a tablet that you're not really too fussed about losing or maybe even one to give your kids. All right, next up is this slightly more luxurious seven inch tablet. This is the A3000. So the resolution of this display is the same, but it's a different screen technology. This is an IPS panel, and that means that it looks a lot better than the one on the A1000. Colors are crisper, everything just looks a little bit more refined. Unlike the more affordable option, this tablet has the option of 3G, so that's good if you want data on the go. It's got a quad-core processor as well, instead of the dual-core one in the tablet we just looked at. It doesn't have the Dolby speakers, however. For some reason, this one, despite being a bit more luxurious, loses that feature. Um, it is going to be more expensive. We don't know how much. There's no pricing details exactly yet, but do expect to pay a little bit more for the uh, slightly more pricey components. It's also got a rear-facing camera as well, which is something that the cheaper model doesn't have. It's running Android version 4.2, which is, at the time of speaking, a very recent version of Google's mobile operating system. So both these tablets are going to be coming out later this year. As I mentioned, there's no word on pricing yet, unfortunately. But when we do get word on pricing, we'll get a clearer idea of whether or not they have the clout to take on devices like the Nexus 7 or Samsung's recently announced Galaxy Note 8.0. I'm Luke Westray for CNET, and these are some Lenovo 7-inch tablets.